Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to Phoenix Point and my experiment where I am attempting to discover if it is a viable approach to field squads made up of a single unit type. Now we've already done this with the Berserkers and the Priests, so now it's time for the Infiltrators to take a shot at the Scylla. As always, we will be judging the performance based on how quickly they can kill the Scylla, how many injuries they take, and how many casualties they take. As for the rules, we can only use weapons dedicated to that one class or intended for that one class, and we can't multi-class. Which, for the infiltrators, means we are stuck with crossbows, which have no penetrating power, which is kind of tricky in the late game when the Scylla is always heavily armored and more and more enemies end up armored. And the spider mine pistol. That's it. So, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about this one, I'll be honest. But let's also go over the skills and get to it. So the skills we have is we can deploy a decoy, which I've noticed the enemy tends to focus on. And we also get the ability to vanish, which just means I can press this button, pick any of these spots, and our dude will go back into stealth and get like free movement. So that's useful. Additionally, we can deal three times the shock damage, three times the damage we deal as shock damage if we hit somebody from behind. And we do double damage if we hit a dude while we're stealthed. So that's really useful and is why one of my favorite tactics to use with these guys is to... Now let's go ahead and launch these guys over here. Uh, is to cross-train them as snipers. Because if you cross-train a... Infiltrator as a sniper and you have that bonus... A piercing sniper rifle will often kill other human enemies in just one one go. So, it's a fun ability. Now, we're going to try to take shots at the Scylla uh, with our crossbow and try to inflict poison damage right off the bat. I'm not sure how well this is going to work for us, but hey. Now, we did alert that creature which is not great, but he doesn't know where we're at, so it's still fine. Now I'm gonna keep deploying my spider mines because they are fantastic scouts. And if the enemy gets close to us, the spider mines will intercept and blow them straight to hell, which is always fun. <laughs> huh. I'm actually surprised the crossbows are getting to the Scylla. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. Now let's send you guys over here to cover this flank. Let you guys kill the eggs if you run into them. Nope. Yep, take your shots at the Scylla. Wow, 200 poison damage. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of health, Scylla. Well, actually, I don't. All right, send some more spider mines, this time straight ahead. Like I said, mainly just cannon fodder to keep the enemy off my back. Got him. Hmm. So it does look like we're getting past the carapace, which is... Honestly, a bit surprising. Especially since the description of the crossbow doesn't say much about armor piercing. But you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, apparently, we can even get its uh, more heavily armored spots. <laughs> 360 damage. My god, that is brutal. Yeah, I kind of just want my legion of spider drones out. <laughs> Although I will admit, it is probably overkill at this point. Because with as much poison as we're doing to this Scylla, I'm not sure it'll survive. It's first turn, even. A little shocking, honestly. I'm not going to deploy any more spider mines. It doesn't seem necessary. We'll just add some poison. One nice thing about the crossbow, though, 
It only takes one action point per shot, so... You know, you can... <laughs> you can just pepper them for a while. Alright. I honestly wonder if the... If the Scylla will survive its first turn. <laughs> I think I've severely underestimated the crossbow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. So it only took us one turn to kill the Scylla. We deployed, Scylla was immediately visible and poison crossbow damage murdered it, which is, like I said, incredibly surprising. So before we end the episode, I do want to take a look at the crossbow and see if I was mistaken about the armor piercing, because most weapons in this game, unless it's like the new Jericho piercing weapons, are unable to get through that, are unable to get through the armor. So let's go to equipment. I know this guy doesn't use the crossbow. I just want information. 50 poison, 50 damage, 40 poison. Yeah, no armor piercing whatsoever, but apparently it didn't matter. Oh, you know what it probably was? It was probably the fact that we were stealth for every shot. So we were actually doing 100 damage, not 50. So yeah. There you have it. The So far, the infiltrators are well in the lead. No damage taken, no casualties, and only a single turn to do the job. I'll be really surprised if any of the other classes can beat them. But it'll be fun trying to find out. So with that, thank you all so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time, where we are going to put the technicians to the test. Thanks again for watching.